Ken and I just got back from the grocery store. We got lemons, bananas, baby spinach, some sprouts, onions, asparagus, celery, bunch of different kinds of tomatoes. We have a lot of tomatoes in the garden. They're just not ripe yet. Cucumbers, avocados, corn, shallots, blueberries, strawberries. I got these little shells. I'm gonna make a dessert. We got some uh, Italian bread, some whole wheat bread, and then um, this uh, sourdough bread. Chicken breast for 99 cents a pound. I'm gonna make, make some chicken salad this week. And I got some salmon and tuna. And then I got ribs for the fourth, heavy cream and sour cream. And that was our grocery haul. everyone it's Shelby welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan on Sunday we're having chicken shawarma what I like to do is when chicken breasts the boneless skinless are on sale I buy a bunch of them and uh, cut them into cutlets put them in freezer bags and then add all different kinds of marinades uh, tequila lime chicken Thai coconut chicken chicken shawarma and it makes it so convenient uh, to have that in the freezer, marinating and getting all those flavors, you know, incorporated into the chicken. So I just pulled one of those from my freezer. I'm making homemade pita bread, hummus, tabbouleh, and tzatziki. And I have a video that shows how to do the marinade and it has all the recipe links for videos and whatnot for this entire dinner. So I'll put that in the description box. Tonight for dinner, we're having grilled chicken shawarma uh, hummus, tzatziki, homemade pitas, and tabbouleh. And I have a video that shows how I marinate the chicken. And then if you click on show more, it has all the recipes for tabbouleh, tzatziki, hummus, all of it. So I'll link that in the, the description box for you guys. We are growing a ton of tomatoes and they're almost turning red, but not quite. So we had a hankering for a panzanella salad uh, with fresh mozzarella. It just sounds so refreshing. I did harvest the basil from my garden and it was so good. Tonight for dinner we're having a panzanella salad mm -hmm. and I added some fresh mozzarella. I have a cook with me video that shows how to do this, make the dressing. Tonight we're having some fish for dinner and I'm using a little shortcut. I'll share that with you and asparagus and I'm going to make a little aioli sauce using some preserved lemons. I have a confession. I do use this Uncle Ben's uh, long grain and wild rice like as a convenient item. And I doctor it up usually with some sliced mushrooms. A lot of times I'll use it as a stuffing like for Cornish game hens or uh, chicken or something like that. Today I'm gonna use it as a side. I'm gonna cook up some fish and, but yeah. That's what I'm using today. <laughs> That's my secret recipe. <laughs> I'm gonna be harvesting some dill, parsley, and a little bit of green onion. I wanna make a compound butter that I can use when preparing fish dishes. I harvested dill, flat leaf parsley, and some chives. I'm gonna get these washed and then take all the leaves off, get rid of the tough stems, and then chop it up into really fine minced herbs. I'm also gonna zest one lemon and use this juice in the butter.
Okay, I started out with two pounds of softened butter. I added dill, chives, a little bit of parsley, the zest of a lemon, the juice of a lemon, some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna add two garlic cloves that I grate on the marker plane. labeled the compound butter, just dill butter. I'm gonna get these into the refrigerator so they can set up and then I'll get them ready to go into the freezer. I'm cooking the tuna and the salmon in the same pan and I added just a little bit of olive oil and then a few pats of dill butter. And then over here in this pan, I'm cooking some asparagus. I'm making a little sauce for the fish. I have probably like a half a cup of mayo, a couple slices of preserved lemons, and some garlic. And I'm gonna get this all mixed together. I added a little bit of salt to it and it really brightens up the whole flavor. For dinner tonight, we're having uh, salmon with asparagus and wild rice stuffing. And I made like a little aioli sauce, super simple. Wednesday is gonna be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I took one of those big pork loins, you know, you see in the store, you can get them on sale, you know, for a pretty good price. I just cut one inch uh, boneless pork chops and floured them up, salt and pepper, stuck them in the iron skillet with a little bit of oil, made some mashed potatoes and a salad. I took a boneless skinless pork loin, cut it into like one inch uh, slices, dusted it with flour, seasoned it with salt and pepper, I'm cooking it in some oil. We're gonna have country fried boneless pork chops for dinner. For dinner tonight, we're having country fried pork chops just lightly dusted the pork chops with some flour, seasoned with salt and pepper, cooked in about a quarter inch of oil and an iron skillet, serving it with mashed potatoes and a very simple salad. Thursday, I made some lasagna, real easy recipe, and served it with garlic bread and tossed salad. And if you guys want the recipe for the garlic butter that I use, I make it kind of like the dill butter that I showed you um, and I s put it in the freezer and I just pop it out whenever I need it. I use it for obviously making garlic but, uh, bread. You can throw it in the pan and put some shrimps in it like a shrimp scampi. Um, it goes well with pasta. You can throw a little bit in um, when you're making homemade scalloped potatoes. It's delicious. There's just so many uses for this garlic butter. I'm making a meat sauce for lasagna. I took a tablespoon of olive oil and one onion, chopped it up, started to give it a head start like 10, 15 minutes in the pan with salt and pepper. I've just added a pound of ground beef and a pound of Italian sausage. I wanna get this all browned up. I added some minced garlic and Italian seasoning. I'm gonna get a quart of my tomato sauce that I canned last year in here. I'll put all of the um, measurements in the recipe in the description box below. Put a little bit of water in my container here in my jar to get out the rest of the tomato sauce. Do you guys do that? <laughs> I'm going to let this simmer. In addition, I added six ounces of a tomato paste. I'm going to get this incorporated and then turn the heat down, let this simmer while I get the filling and the noodles cooked. The filling is so easy. It has two cups of cottage cheese or you could use ricotta. I sometimes use ricotta. I just don't have any on hand. So cottage cheese is a perfect uh, substitution. Two eggs, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, salt and pepper. I'm gonna mix it together. I'm boiling my lasagna noodles in some boiling water. I'm gonna start layering the sauce, noodles, the filling, some cheese, and just repeat the different layers. Put it in the oven and baked it at 350 until it got nice and bubbly all over. 
let it sit for about 10 minutes before we cut it and it looks good. For dinner tonight, we're having lasagna, garlic bread, and a little bit of a tossed salad. Delish. Friday, I'm making a chicken salad sandwich on whole wheat bread. That just sounds really good to me. I got chicken on sale for 99 cents a pound this week. I have four chicken breasts that I drizzled some olive oil and seasoned with salt and pepper. I'm gonna put them into a 350 degree oven and I'll check on them in about 40, 45 minutes and see if they're cooked through. In my bowl, I have some chopped celery, chopped walnuts. You can also use pecans, I've done that before. I have a little bit of flat leaf parsley. I don't always add that, but I have it in the garden, so I added some. And I added some fresh tarragon that I've been growing, salt and pepper. Now I'm gonna get the chicken out of the oven, cut it into cubes, and then just moisten it with enough mayonnaise to hold together. Here's what the salad is gonna look like, the chicken salad. I'm serving the chicken salad on some whole wheat bread. This is the Heidelberg bread. I grew the lettuce in my garden, and the tomato came from the store and the sprouts came from the store. And here's our chicken salad sandwich. Looks yummy. Saturday for the 4th of July, I had planned on doing um, some ribs, smoked ribs, but I didn't get them on the smoker in time. And so we ended up having cheeseburgers and hot dogs and watermelon and some chips and it was just fine. So I'll just roll over the ribs uh, for next week. We're having hot dogs and cheeseburgers. Ken was the chef boyardee tonight. <laughs> well, that was our grocery haul and meal plan for the week. I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I hope you have a great week coming up. And until the next video, talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.